Welcome back to the Data Protection Diaries and welcome back to the vlog. Now, if you have been living under a rock, you may not have heard about the recent talk of changes to the privacy notice and data sharing implications of using WhatsApp. So in this video, I just want to very quickly cover off what is going on, why it's important, and why I think there needs to be a little bit of calm instilled in the world, and we just need to take a little step back for a second. As always, if you find this video useful, if you find this content interesting, please do give us a like, give us a thumbs up, give us a share. If you're subscribed, make sure you click that notification bell, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, please make sure that you subscribe as well, and hit that notification bell, and you'll be told when videos like this come out. But for now, Let's get on with what we want to talk about. People will probably already be aware that there has been some recent news that WhatsApp are updating essentially their terms on and conditions, and that if users don't accept those terms and conditions, then they will not be able to use the service anymore. Elon Musk has already told everybody that they should be going over to Signal, which is a secure encrypted messaging service. And obviously you've got Telegram as well, which again is a secure encrypted um, messaging service that doesn't, of course, belong to the Facebook group of families. But why is everybody telling everybody to move? Well, specifically in the information that's being provided by WhatsApp, it states that WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook are all a group of companies and because of that they want to be able to share information freely with each other. The changes to these terms and conditions for WhatsApp mean that WhatsApp wants to start sharing some personal data with Facebook. So contacts potentially from your phone, um, your telephone number and some location information. It is not categorically not talking about sharing your private messages or your private communications and that information is not going to be used for advertising purposes or to advertise to you on Facebook. That is not what this is about. Now my challenge here is that out in the world and certainly out in the press and the media this is being purported to be something slightly different to what it actually is. If you are based in the UK or in the EU, which most of the people watching this video will be, there will be absolutely no change to the data sharing that currently happens through your use of WhatsApp. Obviously here in the UK and in the EU, we are bound by quite structured and rigid data protection laws, mainly the GDPR and now the UK GDPR, and that has already determined what information can and can't be shared between WhatsApp and Facebook. So there is going to be no change to information sharing for UK and European users. It does affect users outside of the UK and Europe, so users in uh, the US and India in particular has seen a large rise in the people moving over to or downloading Signal and Telegram and other different messaging platforms. My take on this is that Everything has a price. I think we've been very, very fortunate to be able to use WhatsApp for free for a very, very long time. I personally sent hundreds of thousands of messages, communicated with friends, family, loved ones. I've sent videos, I chat with my friends on there on a regular basis, and that doesn't cost any money. In order for these kind of services to be able to operate and to be able to run, obviously there has to be a way of trying to monetize it. And from what I understand, this is what Facebook are trying to do now. Now, they're not trying to monetize the data specifically, but they are looking at creating a Facebook payment system that is going to be integrated between Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram. And what they want to use is use the information that they collect from WhatsApp for business purposes. So that will involve keeping messaging transactions together or messages relating to transactions with businesses together. So if you're sending messages to WhatsApp businesses or businesses running on WhatsApp, then those chat messages may be stored and passed over to Facebook. But other than that, they're not looking to take information for other people. Fortunately, we live in a world where a piece of news like this is obviously going to cause a bit of a stir. And the media being the way the media is, it doesn't necessarily look into the details of things. It just takes the first point and that's what then gets blown up. 
I'm not going to tell you what you should and shouldn't do. It is down to you what messaging system you want to use. And I am fully on board with using things like Telegram and Signal. But it is also worth remembering that WhatsApp is end-to-end -end encrypted and they have no access to your messages. This is just about having access to telephone number and location. Information that if you're using Facebook, Facebook most likely already have. And if you don't use Facebook, they're not going to get it from WhatsApp. I do think this is being blown slightly out of proportion. I think it's brilliant that the conversation is happening though. And I think it's fantastic that people are taking an interest and taking an interest in what their privacy really means. But we have to remember that everything has a cost and you have to decide whether or not you think that cost is appropriate for you and whether or not you want to pay it for being able to use services that don't come with any upfront cost. As I'm saying, I'm not talking about saying that big corporate industries aren't eroding our right to privacy. Not saying that at all. I signed up for Facebook well over a decade ago. I never appreciated how much information they'd have about me but I do understand what they've got now and how they use it and that determines how I move forward. I make my decisions based on ethics and also based on convenience for me as an individual. What's going to work for me? What can I use? And also what do I use that service for? And I don't use WhatsApp for anything other than just talking to family and friends. Have a think, decide what you want to do, make the choice. Obviously Signal and Telegram are there if you want to use it, but also sometimes you have to accept that if you want to use a service that is free, then there are going to be changes. But it is not as big a deal as it's being made out to be in the media from my perspective. And that's pretty much what I wanted to cover off today. If you have any comments about this, if you have any different points of view, which I'm sure many of you will have, please do get in the comments down below. I'd love to get a conversation going about this. But for now, as always, if you find these videos useful, please do like, comment, subscribe. For me, that's it, and I'm out. Thanks so much.